So over the last five years, TikTok steadily gained popularity among young people. In fact, roughly half of TikTokers are younger than 34 years old. Joining us this morning to discuss how to unplug your tick teens is psychologist and CEO of Phoenix Counseling Center, Dr. Patrice Charles. Morning, Doc. How are you hey. doing? Hey, Dr. Patrice. How are you? Hey. I'm good. I'm stress-free after watching you two this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm staring up. <laughs> well, well, there you go. <laughs> wow. Um, well, I'm not a social media person. Well, they tell me WhatsApp is social media, so I'm there. So I, I don't know what is going on on, on TikTok. Mm -hmm. What is the concern here? What is the overall concern before we get specific? What's the overall concern? I think the overall concern that I'm seeing coming into the, the counseling center is the effect that it has on the self-esteem and confidence of kids, especially the teenagers. And you would think by now that everyone would kind of understand the whole filters that that um, are on TikTok and that a lot of things that you see on TikTok, the way um, people look, their beauty, their complexion, their, even their hair color is really based on the filters. The filters are incredible. If you've ever been on TikTok, you just need to go and explore the different filters. But it does cause some form of psychological psychological effect it causes anxiety it causes depression but if we jump ahead of that i think one of the main things that TikTok causes is a spike in what we call dopamine that really good reward chemical and it's because of that unhealthy um unusual type of spike you become addicted to wanting to get that reward that good feeling again and so you keep going back for more. And that's what's happening with our teens. They keep going back for more. And it's very easy to just access those 15 to 60 second um, videos. You just keep swiping, swiping up, and just keep getting more of what you like because the artificial intelligence actually zones in on the types of videos that you probably like or you keep watching. Mm -hmm. And so they get fed more and more. And when you stop watching it and your dopamine levels kind of settle back down, you feel kind of withdrawn, you feel kind of low, you feel kind of sad because you don't have that good feeling that you usually get from, from that dopamine spike. And so what do you do? You keep going back for more just to get that feeling that you don't even know what it is, but you know where to find it. And that's why a lot of our teens are addicted. That's why a lot of our teens um, see uh, are unable to, to put down their devices. It affects their social life. It affects their school. It affects their sleep. They're going to school falling asleep. They're not doing assignments because they're on TikTok. They're not interacting even with family because they're spending so much time by themselves in their rooms on TikTok. And that's when it becomes a problem. Yeah. Well, one of the things that also concerns me, Doc, is how it, it shapes the way they feel their identity should be. And so they see a lot of the people on TikTok who are, who are famous and they feel like, okay, if I behave this way, I'll be liked and, 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 peop and I'll be famous as well. And, um, and, I, and I think we're seeing some of that behavior manifesting itself in our society. Am I correct in assuming so? We are seeing that in our society, especially with teenagers and, and how they interact with each other at school, you know, in their communities. Um, they literally try to be that influencer. They change the way they dress, they change the way they, um, they look. Um, and you have to understand that everything, or at least most things on TikTok are made up to get views. Yep. And so people don't walk around in that kind of makeup every day, but that's what's happening now. That's what you're seeing, a lot of made up faces, a lot of different hairstyles, uh, um, trying to mimic what they're seeing on TikTok. You know, that there is a filter on TikTok that actually shows the reality and then the made up view um, based on the filter. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Um, I actually showed it to one of the, the teens that came in that has a self-esteem problem. And I said, this is what you are seeing on TikTok. But if you just lean to the side, 
you see the reality of it. So a lot of the people that you see on TikTok, it's based on the filter. And um, yeah, I think, I think one of the things that parents need to do is to help keep their children grounded and to, to breathe life and to breathe greatness into their children, not through TikTok but through their own personal interactions. And might I add, there are a lot of parents that are addicted to TikTok. Okay. So they're not even getting involved with their children. They're also on their devices. Yep. I was gonna ask you that because that's the second time you've used that word, addicted. Um, when <laughs> does it become an addiction? It becomes an addiction when it affects your, your daily living, your activities. When, it, when it, it, you become addicted, when you feel bad and this is where you go. Um, addiction is really about more, wanting more. And so if you find that when you're supposed to be studying, you want more TikTok. When you're supposed to be eating, you want more TikTok. When you're supposed to be going to work and doing your work, you want more TikTok, then you have a problem. Mm -hmm. It's you're, you're literally your way of thinking, your way of processing is being rewired. And that's when, you know, parents need to, when parents notice that, your, your children, your grades are, are going down. Um, even your hygiene, they're not even getting up to go take a bath or care for themselves. It's, it's really just focused on social media. They don't have to show their true selves on social media. So they can be whoever and however. You don't even have to do anything. You can just put on a filter and be a completely different person and look great. Mm -hmm. So that addiction, that's when you know you're addicted, when you find that you're daily living your activities are being counted by it or by whatever activities that, that it is that you're doing. How do we fix it, Doc? I mean, w when you have addictions that, that I guess the broader society will agree that yes, this is an addiction and, and you should stop it. And so you have that kind of support. Um, you're literally addicted to yourself. No, you're addicted to, it's so you, you, TikTok causes your dopamine to spike. No, I know, I know. It's, my, so, question is, right. my question is, uh, something like TikTok that the broader society thinks is great and that people mm -hmm. should watch, how do you now as a parent say to your teen, pull back a little bit? It's not so good for you. How do you do that? It's not like, uh, I would say, smoking, where the broader society, on, for the most part, will say, yes, you shouldn't smoke. So you're getting support out there if you tell your teen, don't smoke. There's somebody that might see me and say, you shouldn't smoke. But TikTok is something that everybody loves. How do you wean your child from that? So remember what I said, you look for some red flags, look for grades, um, bad grades, uh, look for ch your children not sleeping, um, irritability, depression, withdrawing, low self-esteem, low self-confidence. When you okay. see those things, then the same thing that you do when you're addicted to a substance is the same thing that you're gonna do with TikTok. You're gonna go through detox. So uh, limiting the use of, of your device, being on your device for social media. Um, if you check the, the screen time on your child's phone, you may see that your child is on TikTok for like 13 hours a day. So yep. when do they do anything else? When you, so when you limit screen time. So literally limit screen time between one and two hours. Oh, and, oh. and then dial that back even more. You may want to go through like a cold turkey phase where no, no, um, no social media. You may have to delete it from their device, especially during school time. So you can say, okay, we're going to put this, we're going to load this back on um, during the holiday. But right now, no, t no TikTok. Yep. No, you know, until the grades come back up or until the end of the term. Well, you answered my um, question because I was going to ask if you think as a parent that they're, your child is addicted, do you just cut them off, blam, none for the time being, or do you, as you said, bring it down to an hour, two hours of the day? What do you do if you, I, if you think? And, I, and again, this really depends on the situation and, the, and your child. I like having discussions. I like the collaborative approach. You know, pre present the issue to your, to your child. Listen, what's happening here with your grades? What's happening with you just staying in? You don't even want to come out and sit with us for dinner anymore. Or you're at the table and you're on your phone on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I see where this can become a problem. So this is what we're going to do. And you discuss. We're going we're gonna to bring your TikTok hours down to one hour a day on TikTok. 
instead of 13 hours a day. We're gonna we're gonna organize school again, so we get you back. We we'll get you back on track when it comes to to doing your schoolwork. Um, no devices at the table, which means parents, you gotta leave your phone also. No devices at the table. So you set certain structures and and, and rules, house rules, in order to limit um, social media use. All right. Good to see you, my friend. Look after yourself. God bless you and your family. And keep doing, what, you, keep doing what you're doing. Psychologist, Chief Executive Officer of Phoenix Counseling Center, Dr. Patrice Charles.